Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 155 of Saranova Crafts. I'm your host, Jessica. I can be found as Saranova on Ravelry and Twitter, and as Saranova Crafts on Instagram. Um, I don't think there'll be any show notes. I'm only going to show you guys two things, um, but feel free to check out the Ravelry group. Um, feel free to friend me on Ravelry, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. It's all good. Um, it's going to be a quick episode today. Um, it's been two weeks since I recorded. I was had every intention of... Um, recording last week and then I got a copy of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and um, I've kind of spent the last week playing that. <laughs> I've already beat three gyms and completed a full third of my Pokedex and that was with working and doing other stuff too. So um, I've been mildly obsessed with that. So um, you know not a uh, whole lot of uh, knitting going on but I did manage to get some stuff done. Um, I know I showed you guys um, my socks last time and like the shawl I was working on but basically everything has fallen to the wayside in favor of a task I set myself that is probably slightly bonkers, but I'm doing it anyways. Hi Confetti, what are you doing? Don't be trouble. Leave her alone. Hey, leave her alone. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, I have decided that for my trip to Israel in January, I am going to knit myself a sweater to wear on the trip. I'm leaving January 6th. As of recording today, it's December 12th. So yeah. Good times, right? I basically gave myself 33 days because I want to have it done so I can block it um, before I go on the trip. And it's, all, it's living in this giant bag that you can't see through, so haha. -ha. But first I'm going to show you my socks because I actually have worked on those as well because I can't take the sweater with me as purse knitting. So um, my socks, which are just plain vanilla socks, I have finished one sock. See, I haven't, I haven't even woven in tail yet, but I was there when I showed it two weeks ago. I finished the sock and I only have the tiniest smidgy smidge of a new sock, but I started it, and this is the important part, right? Because it's on the needles. If it's on the needles, I'll finish it. If I don't get it on the needles immediately, I will have second sock syndrome, but it's on the needles, so that means that it has been cast on, and I will, in fact, work on it. Um, but that's not really what I've been focusing on. That's been, like, you know, standing in line knitting with when I have my purse. Like, it's not been, it's not been a lot. But so, I chose what I, what seemed like and has turned out to be a fairly simple sweater pattern, but it's very well written. And um, it is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. It's called the Farmhouse Cardigan. You can see here it's like a waffle stitch cardigan with pockets, long sleeves, it does button. Um, and that is by Amy, I can't read it backwards. Um, Amy Christoffers. Amy Christoffers, and it's just the Farmhouse Cardigan on Ravelry, and there's a not great image of it. There's another image on the back. You can kind of see it a little better there. Um, this is printed in black and white because I was bad and printed it at work. Um, it's only two pieces of paper, so I didn't feel too, too bad. Um, but so, um, you start, it's a bottom-up sweater. I don't feel like that's giving anything away. I mean, at the pockets, then the sleeves, then the sweater. So I have, in fact, um, I did the pockets, and I have my sleeves. So I have two sleeves done. They're a little wrinkly because they've just been thrown in this bag. But I have both sleeves done. And I have, in fact, started the body. So, and by started the body, I mean I've already added the pockets in. Um, but what I need to do is I want to sew down this pocket. See how this is still flapping in the wind? So this is the front of the sweater, right? So here's the pocket entrance, right? Pocket. Um, see it over here where I have already sewed the pocket down. So you see it's not kind of floppy as much. And it's got, you know, they're decent sized pockets. Um, see I've already sewn it down on the inside. So what I want to do is before I keep knitting, right, because now that I've added the pockets in, I want to get this second one sewn down, which will probably be what I'll do this afternoon. I'll get this pocket sewn down and then I can do the body. Um, it's, it has very little seaming, um, very little uh, finishing work to do. I did buy buttons, so I have buttons for it. I found some nice wood buttons. Um, that I'm going to use like natural light colored wood buttons um, and but yeah so this is my big project this is what I have been working on basically since um, let's see it has been two weeks I've been working on this because um, I started this like the day after I recorded my last episode so this has been two weeks worth of work has been this much sweater which is a lot so it's like eight inches of sweater because I know my hand is like six like heel to palm, like tip of finger to heel palm is like six and a half inches on my on me. So this is, yeah. Well, it says to add, you know, it says to start the pocket stuff at like seven inches. Again, I feel like it, this is a paid pattern, but I feel like that's not giving away too too much. But that's the waffle stitch on the right side. You start off with one by one ribbing, and then you go into waffle stitch. 
That's the wrong side. They look pretty similar, but you know, you can tell. I'm not holding it up that well, but yay waffle stitch. Um, this is, if you're wondering what this yarn is, this is Araucania Nature Wool. It's 100% hand dyed wool. Um, it's color 54. I know, terribly exciting. Um, and this is a hand wash because it is 100% wool. Um, but here it is. I have 10 of these. Um, if anybody who is from New England or the Boston area remembers Windsor Button, I got a 10 skein bag, like as in a, a dye lot bag, of this in 2013 when Windsor closed. It was a shame to see them go. Um, in fact, my grandmother remembers shopping there as a young adult in the 40s and 50s to get fabric and buttons and sewing notions and, and all this stuff. It was a great shop. But unfortunately in 2013 they closed and um, my mom and I I mean, they were closing anyway, so we took advantage of it. Um, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of good yarn. And I've been trying to find some, a use for this. Um, I have 10 skeins, which is way more than I need for the sweater. But I'm thinking if I finish the sweater and I have time, which I'm a month, not even, I'm less than a month out from my trip. How long am I from my trip? I am, because I have a countdown on my phone. I am 24 days from my trip. That is how long... That is when I, this is the countdown to when I have to be at the airport to meet my group to get on the plane. Okay, so 24 days. So if I can do this in 18, if I can finish this in 18, I can have time to maybe turn out some hand warmers and a hat. But that is being very ambitious. Um, but I have a lot of this yarn. This is like what I used for the sleeves. But I have the sleeves done. So there's actually very little finishing. You, it's, it's one of those yokes where like you knit this, where you add the sleeves and then you, decrease for the shoulders so but I'm hoping that um, oh in the Arcania if you are wondering this is this it, it's a Iran it's a, well it's a worsted slash Iran weight um, and it is 100 grams 240 yards so it's just shy of four ounces it's a really nice but it's got darker it's more I'm trying to decide if it's more green than what the what the um, camera is showing but it's actually the camera seems about right in terms of color. Actually, looking at the camera screen, it looks looks about right. So, that is what I've been working on for the last two weeks, um, is a sweater. And um, I need to stop playing Pokemon and finish the sweater. <laughs> um, I need to stop playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and uh, knit on my sweater. But, like, I got the Switch and it came with the Pokeball in the game. And so, I, like, I have the little Pokeball, which is basically a Joy-Con for the Switch, that I can put Eevee in and take with me places. And I'm just like mildly obsessed because it's like it this pokemon game is like a rehash of the originals from the 90s and if you were a 90s kid and by 90s kid i mean remember the 90s not born in the 90s as in a child who was growing up in the 90s you remember you remember pokemon red blue and yellow and this is basically pokemon yellow in 3d where you have your pokemon partner and your eevee so if you have the pikachu your pikachu rides on your shoulder or if you have the eevee your eevee rides on your head and you can have another Pokemon following you, so you can have two Pokemon out at all times. And um, if they're large enough, you can ride on them. Uh, so you can either move really fast on land, go on water, or fly. Um, and it's just it's really cool. And it's the original Kanto region, it's the original 150. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> I've been mildly excited, if you can't tell by my uh, two-minute rant here about, about the game. Um, I've been having a blast. It is utterly adorable. Um... I actually don't know anybody who bought Let's Go Pikachu. <laughs> I, oh, everyone I know who has, has the game has Let's Go Eevee. Um, if you have Let's Go Pikachu, let me know. It would be nice to know if people actually bought the Pikachu one, but sign me up for Eevee all the way. Um, so anyways, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribes, comments are all appreciated. Um, you don't have to, but, you know, I, I would actually like to talk to people watching this. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Um, hopefully I remember to actually share this out and people know I posted the episode. So hopefully it's not another two weeks. Um, but I am planning to do a whole bunch of recording and stuff while I am in Israel and I might be uploading like little vlogs to uh, to another um, channel. Because um, I did start another channel because I was going to try vlogging for a while and then I did another channel for that. But so um, we'll see. Um, if I decide to do that, I will let you know and there will be links and stuff and people will be aware. So anyways, um, thank you all for watching. This is Just Drive 10 Minutes and I will see you next time. Bye!